Omaha Public Schools will soon change its approach to discipline for pre-K to second graders. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Bill Shamert. An update to the district's code of conduct is in the works to ban suspension of kids in this age range. KETV Newswatch 7's Jessica Perez is live with the alternative approach to address bad behavior. Jessica. This change stems from the large education packet passed this legislative session. It prohibits students who are in grades in those grades to be suspended unless they bring a weapon to school. OPS is one of the districts working to implement the new law. New Nebraska legislation requires school district to change the way they approach discipline for younger students. Under the new law, an elementary school may not suspend students in pre-kindergarten through second grade unless they bring a weapon to class. So Omaha Public Schools is changing its student code of conduct to reflect the new law. We take a proactive approach with working with students and families uh, to help support our students through the student code of conduct. Annie McFarlane is the executive director of student and community services for OPS. She says the new approach to discipline will be multi-tiered. To teach students what the desired behaviors are in the environments they're in, and it's the same for the classroom as it is when we're in other parts um, of our community, that there are expectations. Discipline might include in-class timeouts, detention, or parent meetings. Educators will be asked to focus on teaching kids social and emotional skills. We really do look at what is the behavior communicating to us, uh, digging down to the root. Omaha State Senator Terrell McKinney introduced the new legislation. He says the intention is to address the disproportionate amount of suspensions for black, Latino, and Native students. Between 2021 and 2022, OPS suspended 49% black students, 24% Hispanic students, compared to 16% white students. In an email, he says the multi-tiered approach works and shows a positive influence of academic achievement. OPS says it's continued to monitor the disproportionality. McFarland says the change to the code of conduct won't be anything drastic. We've been following a minimal removal from the classroom whenever possible, but we do have the opportunity to put a plan in place working with families and with the students. The OPS Board of Education will have a second reading of the revised Code of Conduct at its meeting Thursday at 6 p.m. Once it's passed by the board, the policy will take effect the coming school year. McFarland doesn't believe the change will impact teacher retention, but says that it'll be something the district will monitor. Back to you.